How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing in beautiful Sevierville, Tennessee? What a great group. My name is Chris Bowes, Senior Tournament Manager with Bass. I want to welcome you all to the final day. Our top 12 pros and co-anglers hit the water in our Bass Pro Shops. Bassmaster Northern Open presented by Allstate. Hopefully all of you got around us, all of our great sponsors out here, took advantage of a lot of the interactive opportunities they had as well as registered to win that brand new nitro boat powered by Mercury Outboard over there at the Allstate Tent. Checked out the great Toyota products. Got over there and saw our friends with Livingston Lures and Rigid Industries. Of course, Power Pole, the anchoring system for your boat. Carhartt doing the spin to win. Everybody's a winner. Hopefully you took advantage of getting into the Bass Pro Shops. Man, I just can't get out of there without dropping a couple hundred dollars crazy man they got everything the outdoor enthusiast needs well i want to welcome you here we've had a great great week i gotta thank a lot of folks but uh it starts with the town of dandridge and i want my good friend melissa pigler to come on up here she would like to welcome you all she is with the town of Dan dandridge she'd like to welcome you here to the bass pro shops howdy thank you all for coming out today i know you guys are very excited to see who that winning fisherman is today but, you know, it couldn't have been more excited than we was at the beautiful sunrise on Thursday morning on Douglas Lake when we watched 188 boats take off. It has been high energy ever since. Danridge loves Bassmaster. Danridge loves the fishermen. And we want to say thank you for coming out and choosing Douglas Lake and Danridge to be there and just support us. And we want to be back here again next year. So thank you all for coming out to see the winning fishermen. And I'm as excited as you guys are. Thank you so much. And we love coming to Jefferson County and the Chamber of Commerce, our host, uh, doing a fantastic job. But it just doesn't start and end with them. The, uh, the, the great uh, help that we get from the Public Works Department and, of course, the uh, Dandridge Police Department, it, it really takes a lot to, uh, to bring, you know, 400 anglers, their friends and family into a community and uh and have a great week but each and every time we do come to east tennessee it's just fantastic and we can't thank you all enough so we got a lot of folks we got to thank before we get started of course we want to thank past pro shops sp specifically here in Sevierville for rolling out the uh, red carpet and allowing us to take up a lot of their parking lot and uh, have all of our great vendors out here today. And I want to thank our presenting sponsor, Allstate, and mention that we did have our Allstate Good Hands Great Day Award yesterday. That was for our highest pro angler and co-angler that uh, you know, maybe struggled a little bit on day one, and they moved up. They moved up way up on day number two. And look at this incredible Pete, uh, Pete Gluza in the pro division he moved up 85 spots from day one to day two and he got himself a 250 dollars bonus for that on the co-angler side edward rogers jr did just about the same thing he moved up a mere 84 spots to get the co-angler good hands a great day award and uh, we really appreciate that and that keeps everybody in the in the running i also of course want to thank toyota and mention that uh, we do have uh, a lot of their great products on display of course you're going to see all these pro and co-anglers pulled through by these beautiful 2014 toyota tundra pickups uh, the the same pickups that bass uses to haul all of our equipment around the country and they do a fantastic job very very reliable vehicle and they also have have a, bon a uh, contingency program called the Bonus Box. If you're not familiar with it and you fish tournaments, bass tournaments, you need to check it out because here alone in the Bass Pro Shops, Bassmaster opens. They award almost $3,000 in bonus uh, money. And, of course, David Walker, our lone Toyota bonus bucks eligible angler, is going to get that $1,500 bonus courtesy of Toyota. And all he did was make the top 12. Of course, to be a lot of great anglers to do that. But uh, with no other Toyotas, he's obviously locked down that spot. Of course, I want to thank Evan Williams Bourbon and Berkeley Baits. You can see a lot of the great Berkeley Baits. Of course, the Havoc line, a lot of Elite Series pros uh, putting their, their minds behind a lot of those great, great baits. Of course, I want to thank Triton Boats and Mercury Outboards. And it's a great opportunity to mention to you that our winning 
co-angler is going to win a brand new Triton boat, a Triton uh, a Pro 17. It's going to be powered by a Mercury 150 horsepower Pro XS motor. Great broke motor package that co-angler maybe doesn't have a boat at home, can turn around and use fishing tournaments next year, maybe even fish the pro division of the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Open Series. And, of course, when I'm talking about Triton Mercury, I want to mention that they are winning Pro Angler is going to win a brand new Triton 19XS powered by a Mercury 200 horsepower Pro XS motor. Great boat motor package. Not only that, they're going to win $8,000 worth of cash as well as the coveted birth to the 2015 Bassmaster Classic on Lake Hartwell, Greenville, South Carolina, February of 2015, $300,000 first place prize. And that is really a dream come true that all these pro anglers are trying to obtain. I want to thank the Skeeter Boats and Yamaha Outboards. Great, a uh, lot of Skeeter Yamaha pros in the field doing very, very well this week. Hummingbird Electronics, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, and of course, right here at the Bass Pro Shops, check out those Nitro Boats. Give with all those premier sponsors, a big round of applause if you would. We can't do it without their support. We can't pay out two, almost a quarter million dollars worth of cash and merchandise this week. But we also have some fantastic supporting sponsors. Of course, Boat US, if you're not familiar with the Boat US tow program, their way to win and their tow program, you need to get online and check it out. Many, many of our pro anglers fishing the events uh, these days are registering for that very, very valuable program because of what it does. It gives them on-the-water protection that if they're to break down during a tournament day, they can make one simple call to Boat US and get themselves to tow in, potentially weigh their catch, and, and continue to, to do well in the tournament and potentially cash some money. And for a mere $82, Eighty-two dollars a year, you can get that on the water and on the road assistance. If you have tra trailer issues, something like that, they'll send someone out. And uh, I've taken advantage of that myself, so I know it, it really does work, and we appreciate it. And they do send a boat to each and every event in the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Opens. I want to thank Livingston Lures if you're here early. Earlier, that we threw away a bunch of Livingston lures, and uh, and they got a great product. Of course, many of you witnessed firsthand on ESPN2. Randy Howell win the 2014 Bassmaster Classic on Lake Gunnersville with a Livingston lure, a prototype bait, now identified as the Howler, ironically enough. And that will be on the shelves right here in the Bass Pro Shops very, very soon. I want to thank PowerPole. PowerPole has a captain's cash contingency. It's a $500 award for the pro. If that pro angler wins this event here this week, they will get a bonus of $500. I should mention that there are two pros in the field of 12 that are eligible for that. They include David Walker, who is right now uh, sitting in uh, eighth place, had a great, great day yesterday, looking for another one today. and He's got a lot of local knowledge, as well as a young and up-and-coming pro from Indiana, Jacob Wheeler. He is also eligible for that $500 award from PowerPole. I want to thank, of course, Lawrence Electronics and Shimano. And mention right now that we, we take advantage of our Shimano live release boats right over there to get all of these fish. And I want, I want you to know here and watching on Bassmaster.com that each and every one of these fish are going back to Douglas Lake so they can be caught again. And I want to thank, uh, thank all the uh, help from Shimano in making that happen. Of course, Dia Mountain Dew, they do a fantastic job getting me through these way. And so I'm specifically gonna gonna thank them as well as rigid industries and hopefully you saw some of their great products as you came through today of course plano and booyah give those supporting sponsors a big round of applause and keep your hands together one more time for our local host jefferson county chamber of commerce those are the folks if you're here local those are the folks you need to talk to about bringing us back year year in and year out. So we're we got the anglers lining up. They checked in at 2 o'clock. We're ready to start this big time weigh-in. But before we do, we got a little business to take care of like we do with each and every other, each and every bass weigh-in. If we could ask you to please rise if you're seating. A lot of you are already rise and remove your caps. Our American flag is located over our bass pro shops here in Sevierville. So we can pay tribute to our fighting soldiers, protecting our freedoms overseas, as well as our veterans with the playing of our national anthem.
All right, keep your hands together because I got to welcome to the stage a very, very special guest. Come on up, Paul Irwin. Give him a big round of applause. He has done a lot of heavy lifting this week, Paul, and I, I really want to thank you for all of your efforts. You've done a fantastic job. And, and Paul has become a bit of a celebrity here, a bit of a celebrity. I, I, I picked up the Knoxville uh, News Sentinel, and look at this, front cover of the sports edition. There's Paul with Ot Defoe. So I'm going to let you take that home. I, I bet you got a place you can put that. Yeah, I probably do. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get this weigh-in started. What do you think, Paul? Are you uh, you ready to get this uh, this thing rolling here today? I know I am. Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right. I hope you all are more excited than Paul about this. Come on, put your hands together. What a crowd. I'm going to ask you to do one favor before we get started. we got a drive path running behind you guys in the front here. One in front of you, just be careful. Please stay back on the curb so we can get nobody hurt. And when, when, we, when I say that, we're going to welcome up to the stage our first pro angler. Come on up. Craig Workman rolling on up, towed behind that great Toyota Tundra. He got a chance to fish with Mike Henderson from Canada. We had a lot of international anglers in the field this week. Canada represented, of course, as well as France. All right, make sure you stay clear there in the front. they got to get those boats up. There we go. Perfect. Come on up. Let's see Mike. Come on up here with your fish. Hopefully he's got something to weigh. It's been a little stingy out there on Douglas Lake for some each, each and every day. Of course, a lot of limits cut as well. Here comes Mike. Come on up. Put, a, put your hands together. Started with 188 co-anglers, and here's Mike beating out 176 of them to get up here on the stage man this is great you come down from the north country what a beautiful day oh it's just been amazing i'd like to thank everyone from dandridge tennessee all you guys are amazing for people from tennessee i just love it here thank you all right we're gonna go ahead and get this thing to lock in there we go 13 ounces, 13 ounces. Man, I'm not sure the scales could read that one. If I could, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Fishbone Outfitters, Excel and Lures, uh, Denali Rods, Rawfish.com, Cowboy Bait and Tackle as well. All right. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate you coming on out here today. We're going to ask you to exit the stage right here. It's a long jump down there. Come on up, Craig Workman, our first pro angler to weigh in here today. He's from Fort Worth, Texas. We had just about every state represented. All right, Craig, come on up, man. Tell us. Oh, watch out. Mosquitoes are out. Mosquitoes are out. That didn't lock in for some reason. It was weird, but it did eventually. It took forever. All right, Craig. What the heck, huh? How you doing? Not as great as I was earlier in the week, but I had a good time. I thank Dangridge and Bass Pro Shops and Today's weight, five pounds and two ounces. Craig's going to hold one of these up so we can get a photo. Going to give him a total weight of 35 pounds, six ounces. He started the day in 12th place, and right now he has moved all the way up to third, and it's bass like that that make a difference. Tell us about your techniques this week, Craig. I caught most of them on a Carolina rig and a uh, crankbait, deep diving crankbait, and I kind of got lucky. I didn't find a lot in practice, but I stumbled on a little something and got up on a spot that was just loaded with fish. One of those deep spots I heard so many anglers talking about, you'd uddle over and literally that hummingbird electronics, Lorraine's electronics would just light up. Yeah, just lit up like crazy. And uh, if I hadn't had two good co-anglers the first two days that caught 35 fish between the two of them, I might have had a bag of fish today. All right, they ate up a lot of your fish. Great job, Craig. Right now sitting in third place with 35 pounds, 6 ounces. All right, now we'll bring up our next pro angler rolling on up to this stage. Come on, put your hands together for Derek Snavely from Rogersville, Tennessee. couple Tennessee boys in this uh, this boat. 
Daniel Bibby Jr., he also fishing on the co-angler side out of Tennessee. There we go. We'll go ahead and ask Daniel to get his bag of fish and come on up here. He had 19 pounds and 11 ounces after the first two days of competition. He does have a three fish co-angler limit. Our co-anglers are fishing for their best three fish. Of course, they must be 12 inches long. Only one smallmouth bass and that smallmouth bass must be over over 20 inches. We heard numerous stories of anglers throwing back 15 pound bags of smallmouth bass because they did not reach that 20 inch mark. And Daniel's bringing up a guest and he's already getting behind the head. So he's going to be a little shy, I think. But go ahead, Daniel. Let's go ahead and put uh, these fish on the scales. We're looking for 11 ounces to take over the lead, Daniel. He's got a three fish limit. I think he's done it. Settle down at 10 pounds and 12 ounces. Daniel looking at a brand new Triton boat powered by a Mercury outboard sitting with 30 pounds and 7 ounces after the third day of competition. What? Sweet. That is a great bite right there. That's a game changer. Do you want to try that for Carhartt Big Bass? Yes. We're looking for seven pounds in one ounce, seven one to take over the Carhartt Big Bass of the tournament. Aaron Martins, co-angler, trying to knock off the 2013 Toyota Elite Series Angler of the Year, Aaron Martins. Looking for seven pounds, one ounce, good bass, just shy five pounds, four pounds, 14 ounces. Not going to be enough for the Carhartt Big Bass, but you're sitting in first and you're looking at the big prize. Yep. <laughs> so tell the folks, man, how's it feel? It feels pretty good. All right. How, what do you feel? Are you feeling like you got this thing locked up? I hope so. All right. You willing to stick around for a minute? And I'll let you, who's this young man here? My grandson, Riley. Okay, Riley. You mind if you and Riley just uh, take a seat right over here in the co or hot seat? I'd like to say thank you to Casey Martin for teaching me how to swim this swim bait all week and the Jefferson County uh, Chamber of Commerce and my uh, pro today, Derek Slave. Snavely, he put us on some big ones. All right, I love to hear that. Let's have a seat right here. And then we're going to have Derek come on up here to the scales from Rogersville, Tennessee. We got a little treat, uh, that, a little uh, tip, I should say, that uh, Derek was around some big fish. He needs seven pounds and nine ounces to take over the lead. All right, he's going to come on up here with a limit of bass, five fish. 30 pounds and 12 ounces after the first two days of competition. What are you shaking your head about? He's got them, huh? He's got some big ones. All right. We're going to have to let the scales do the talking. He needs seven pounds and nine ounces to take over the lead. He's from Rogersville, Tennessee. He's sitting in 12th place right now. He's got a big bag of fish. He's going to break that 20-pound mark. Settle down at 19 pounds and 13 ounces. With a total weight of 50 pounds and 9 ounces, Derek Snavely has taken over the lead on the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Northern Open presented by Allstate right here in Dandridge, Tennessee on beautiful Douglas Lake. Whoa, man, right here front and center. Oh, we're going to, oh, man, he's no stranger. Yeah, you got to get right behind the podium for us. Yeah, now we're talking. When we see your your face on the cover of Bassmaster Magazine for winning yourself a spot into the 2015 Bassmaster Classic, we want to get that Opens logo in the background, man. You know the routine. I'd love to be there, but I don't think it's going to happen this week. Uh, day two, I slipped a little bit, but uh, all in all, I had a good week. I was happy with it. Tell us about the baits and maybe uh, the structure you've been fishing. Well, today I got a little unlucky because I... I let one about eight to ten get off. What? Yes, it was it was the biggest one I've seen in this lake. So, but after that, I caught all the fish. So, I shook it off and rebounded. But uh, this week, uh, I was using uh, swim bait mostly, a kayak swim bait. Um, swim bait heads was made by RNS Bait Company and Big Rod Baits. They're the best swim bait heads on the market. Um, also, I was deep cranking. Um, a 6XD, and no long lining, no long lining at all this week for me, and my elbow is about to kill me. I was kneeling and reeling. You're going to have to ice it down tonight? I, I am. Uh, also caught some good fish on a Carolina rig, made 
12 inch worm totally tackled they have some special scent on those worms and they're they're something special and Derek, you just shared a great tip with folks that may not uh, be as seasoned as you. You get down on your knees, you stick that rod down in the water, and it, it can be amazing what a difference that extra five feet or so can make getting that bait down where it needs to be in the water column. Sure does. Sure. All right, put your hands together for Derek from Rogersville, Tennessee. I'm going to ask him to take a seat right there. And when he's doing that, we're going to have our next boat come on up. And once again, folks, if you're in the drive path, if you're on that road right here I'm pointing at, you need to move up onto the sidewalk one side or the other because we have some beautiful Toyota Tundra pickups that need to get th through there. And right now, this one is is driving up with uh, Bassmaster Classic champion Luke Clausen. Yeah. He's won the big prize that all these anglers are trying to obtain, that Bassmaster Classic Berth. Luke got a chance to fish with Bill Coles from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And remember, if you're out here in the audience and wondering how you get involved if you're a Bass member, and we identified a lot of you here earlier in the weigh-in, when I asked for those Bass membership cards, all you got to do is go to Bassmaster.com and register, and you can be a co-angler. In one of these events, you get a chance to fish with a Bassmaster Classic champion. How are we doing, Bill? I'm doing pretty good. It was a little bit slower today, so missed a big one right at the end. But you did find a three-fish limit. Yep, I had a limit all three days, so I was consistent, so I'm happy with that. We'll get him to settle down the scare. This needs 14 pounds, 14 ounces, and you got some of that at 4 pounds and 14 ounces, but you're going to fall about 10 pounds short. That's all right. I had a really good time. Uh, it was awesome fishing with Luke, being able to fish with somebody of that caliber. So I really appreciate it, and I uh, had a great time. All right. We look forward to seeing you down the road. I'm going to ask you to exit over here and get your weigh-in ticket. And when you're doing that, Luke Clausen from all the way in Washington, the state, he probably had the longest drive of any of these anglers. Of course, we had a NASA Confort from France flyover. Luke's got a five fish limit at 31 pounds and an ounce after two days of competition. He knows how to win big time events. He's got a limit of fish. We're looking for 19 pounds and nine ounces to take over the lead. You got a good bag there. Well, I hope it's enough to knock Derek out of this seat. All right, let's see. He wants to get in that pro hot seat. Win himself a Bass Pro Shops out Bassmaster Open. Looking for 19, 9, 17 pounds and 12 ounces. Hold a couple of those up and then we're going to tuck. Luke Clausen is going to. Settle into second place for right now with a total weight of 48 pounds and 13 ounces. 48, 13, very impressive weight for Douglas Lake. And woo. All right, yeah. Just a good week for you, though, Luke, no matter how this shakes out. Really, it has been an awesome week, Chris. It's great to be here. Douglas is a phenomenal lake, tons of fish. It's been a, been a really fun week. Caught a, caught a bunch of fish, and definitely need to say thanks for everybody for showing up. Give yourselves a round of applause. Awesome Absolutely. Crowd. Awesome crowd. Awesome crowd. And thanks to Bass Pro Shops for having us. You know, big supporters of the sport like this make it go round and round. I need to thank my sponsors, too, uh, Mega Bass, Mercury, Z-Man, Chevy, all the great people that support me. I caught a ton of fish this week on a Mega Bass Deep Six with a new prototype type rod and uh i wasn't long lining either there's a lot of fish to be caught casting out there it's a it's fun fun lake thank you guys all right fantastic job luke i appreciate you coming out 48 pounds 13 ounces grab your weigh-in ticket right there and then we're gonna have come to the scale our next pro angler come on roll on up here it's david mullins from martin carmel tennessee He's a rookie on the Elite Series this year, 2014, having a fantastic start there. He's, he's had a great uh, two days here on Douglas Lake, and today he got an opportunity to fish with Edward Rogers Jr. from Sparta, Michigan. Had a lot of anglers from the Michigan area, the Great Lakes area, because our second stop is actually in, on Lake Champlain, in in uh, Plattsburgh, New York, beautiful beautiful country up there as well, 
And then our final, our third and final stop, where we'll shake out the end of the series points and identify our Bassmaster Classic qualifiers, making sure they fish all three events in the series. is on the Lake St. Clair in Detroit, Michigan. Edwards coming on up here with 14 pounds and 15 ounces. He's sitting in 12th place. You got nowhere to go, Edward, but up right or Yeah, nowhere to go but up, Edward. It's going to be a tough row to hold there. Today's weight for you. Six pounds and seven ounces. You're going to move into second place in the Coanger side and going to get yourself a nice paycheck this week. Had a nice vacation here this week, too. Did you tour around, uh, you know, everyone thinks of Sevierville and Pigeon Ford and all that dandridge. It's just a beautiful area to come sightsee and, and uh, ride around beautiful mo- mountains and countryside. Did you get a chance to experience any of that? All by boat. All by boat. And that's another cool thing, man. You get to see it firsthand from the water. Going to finish with 21 pounds and 6 ounces. We're going to ask you to step over here, Edward. And then when he's getting off stage, David Mullins is going to sack him up. David's going to sack him up and come on up. Look at him holding those beauties up. That's what we're talking about. David Mullins in that beautiful Triton boat with a Mercury outboard. Showing off a couple bookend Lake Douglas bass. Uh Uh-oh, one so big it can't. And those Triton live whales are huge. Oh, he has a bag. And he's having a great season like I talked about earlier on the Bassmaster Elite Series. He's backing it up here on the Bass Pro Shops of Bassmaster Northern Open Series. He's got five fish. He needs to have 19 pounds, 8 ounces to take over the lead. You got it, David? I think I got it. He thinks he's got it. We're going to maybe say goodbye to Derek here in a second. Settle down on the scales. 21 pounds and 9 ounces. <laughs> David Mullins. Man. We'll get him to hold a couple of those up and get some photos for Bassmaster.com. And thank you, Derek, for coming out. It's been a fantastic uh, week for you. <sighs> this kind of, yeah, I think it's worth trying. Let's go ahead and get a weight. We're looking for 7-1. I don't think it is quite that, but it's a good solid 6-plus six, uh, six for sure, maybe 6.5. Let's give it a try, though, I say. That's right. Give it a try. That's right, because we don't want you leaving second guessing. That's right. i got to take it away from here if I can. That could be a $500 uh, bonus. Five pounds and eight ounces, five, eight. Those post-spawn fish, they look a lot bigger than they are when you get them on the scales. They do. They do. And, you know, you, get, you really got to take care of them this time of the year. You know, when I, I had like five bags of ice that I, I filtered to the day, and, you know, my co-owner said that uh, somebody lost them yesterday. I said, you know, you got to you got to keep the rejuvenate, keep the ice to them all the time, especially this time of year. Tell us about the bait you're using out here this week. Uh, you know, I, I stayed in the river for two days because it was so crowded down the lake. And I, I don't fish in the river very much. And that, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, Ott's coming up and, you know, he's a river rat. And that's something that, that that's played into his, his, uh, his ball game. But I, I stayed up there for two days, caught most of them on a 6XD, uh, cranking with a Mega Bass Rochi rod. Uh, and then today, you know, we had enough room down the lake and I, <clears throat> I ran down the lake and, uh, Caught that big one on a 10XD, first thing, and uh, caught the rest of them on a swimmer, and let's see, caught uh, cold too, about 2 o'clock on a 6XD up there. All right, great stuff. All crankbaits, it sounds like. Great stuff, David Mullins. We're going to ask you to take a seat, a hot seat, and it surely is that today. That is the hot seat for sure. And when David's settling on down, we're going to talk to another David, David Walker from Sevierville, Tennessee, fishing along. Dandridge, Tennessee's Jason Yates. We're going to ask Jason to bag his fish and come on up here first. Oh, I love David's uh, Toyota as well, man. That's one of the best tow vehicles we have. There we go. Jason's in a hurry to get up here. I thought he was going to jump out of the boat, not even use the stairs. Ah. <sighs> He had 15 pounds and 10 ounces. He needs to have one pound and two ounces to take the lead. No, not really. No, he needs to have, oh, 14 pounds and four ounces. Four pounds and two ounces. Going to have you settle into fifth place right now. Tell us about your week and some of your experiences here on Douglas. It's been amazing. It's been a time of my life. I mean, yesterday I got to fish with J.T. Kenny. 
today I get to fish with um, – can't even think right now. David Walker would be his name. He happens to be Elite Series Pro. He's actually won Elite Series event. So I was starstruck for the past two days, you know, and deep cranking, deep cranking. I'm so tired. Carolina rigging. It's just, I had a great time. Time of my life. I'll never forget it. Recommend it to others that might want to give it a try. I recommend this to everyone. Everyone should get out and try this. It's amazing. All right. Well, fantastic job. You're going to settle in fifth place right now with four two pounds, two ounces today. <sighs> Come on up, David Walker from Sevierville, Tennessee. You see him on the Bassmaster Elite Series on ESPN2. Oh, he's got his little girls in tow, all geared up. Man, he teaches them young. 31 pounds and 15 ounces after the first two days of competition. He's got a five-fish limit. You need to have ooh, 20 pounds and 13 ounces. He's got a big bag here today. 15 pounds and 9 ounces going to settle into fourth place. But, man, day number one, not a, I mean, not a bad day. Let's hold a couple up, and then I'm going to talk. David didn't have a bad day on day number one, but not the big day he was hoping. But he rebounded with, I think, what did you have, about 18 pounds and change yesterday? A big day on day number two. Propelled himself into the top 12. Got an opportunity to go out there. What do you think? What do you think about Dad? Pretty good angler, huh? Yeah. Is he your favorite angler on the Bass Trail? Yes. Good answer. Nice, huh? What do you think? Yeah. I tell you what, it is really a team effort here, you know, because we, people talk about, boy, it must be nice to make a living fishing. Well, the, the thing is, is you don't make a living fishing. You make a living catching. And so in order to catch them, you need to put a lot of time in, a lot of effort and so to do that, spend that time out there on the water, you really need this kind of support that I have like this right here. Uh, my wife, Misty's over here in the crowd. and uh... Absolutely. Yeah, I hear you. Put your hands together. That's what it takes. And I, and I hear that time and time again, and you see it firsthand, and I certainly do. You know, those anglers that have the, that big-time support system behind them tend to do a little bit better. And, and we, the, you know, you get to that level, and anybody can catch fish. But to have that added pressure taken off by having that support of your family is key. It really is. I mean, it's it's vital to the whole sport that if you've got that support at home that knows, that understands, you got to get up early and you got to stay late. So that's why I bring them up here every chance I get. But, uh, you know, they're number one fans for me. But, uh, you know, this week being home has been co sort of a mixed blessing. I mean, really, it's kind of I, I travel so much, fish big events all around the country that sleeping in your own bed and it's kind of hard to get into the tournament routine because you go home and we talk about school and what have you so but uh, douglas lake is such a great lake it's kind of an odd lake really i mean you guys all know it the fish it here how deep these fish get and it's really unusual there's not many places in the country they get that way and that's what happened this week uh, i started off catching fish basically shallow uh, through uh, last weekend around Memorial Day, top waters and uh, shallow diving crankbaits. And by t today, I was catching most of the fish in 35 foot of water. So they really move out there quickly, and that's where they like to be. Is that, you think, uh, indicative of the season we've had here? I mean, it was typically, it was kind of a cool spring, and then all of a sudden, like, the light switch went off, and it seems like those fish, in, in talking to the guys about practice, they transitioned very, very fast from that shallow water bite back down into the deep, cooler waters. Yeah, I agree, but I'll tell you what, I'm so glad summer's here. You guys know what kind of a winter we've had. It was only a couple weeks ago. It was still cold, but... Yeah, like you said, I mean, as soon as the hot weather showed up, they moved right out and uh, where they should be. There's still a lot of fish shallow, and I think that's what kind of mixed it up this week. It made it not just a one-trick pony. All right, great stuff. Thank you, David Walker and girls. Come on over here, this side, please. 15 pounds and 9 ounces today, 47.8 for the tournament. <sighs> now our next angler coming to the scales, rolling on up. Pull behind that beautiful Toyota Tundra, that Yamaha outboard. I'm going to mention the co-angler first because he's very important because he was our Livingston lure leader going into today. This was the man that was leading the co-angler division. His name is Mandel Pettis. He's from Sound Beach, New York. He had 20 pounds and 5 ounces. Sitting in fourth place right now since the weigh-in has begun. He's got a couple nice fish in the bag. This is the one. This is one you need to worry about, isn't it? Yes, I do. Are you worried? No. Are you shaking? No. Calm? I'm very calm. All right. Did you talk to him? Yep. 
You're not supposed to talk to them. That's cheating. You're going to be disqualified today. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. Come on up, Mendel. Oh, one shot, your limit, unfortunately, but they're two great fish. We'll get them to settle down on the scales. There we go. Eight pounds and one ounce. Going to move you two pounds and two ounces shy of the lead. Hold a couple of those up or one of those up. He's going to settle into second place with 28 pounds, six ounces. He's got a nice one there. Man, if you only could have caught that third fish, and I know you worked awful hard for it today. Yes, I did. I just want to thank God for allowing me to be here this today. And uh, I had a blessed week. Um, can't complain. Great partners. It was just an awesome, awesome week. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, ask, you, ask you about what baits you used this week. Um, today I was catching a lot of my fish on a uh, missile-based D-bomb. Uh, the big one right there, uh, six, striking 6-6-D, uh, and um, a spoon. You know, just getting it down there deep and letting it do its job. When they hit that spoon, they'd rip it out of your hands. I... Yeah, they ripped it out of your hands. <laughs> uh, all right, great stuff. Thank you, Mandel. Come on over here. 28 pounds and 6 ounces. You're going to settle into second place as of right now. All right, our pro angler, Michael Neal. I was talking to some Michael Neal fans over there. Come on, put your hands together. He's got a five-fish limit. He's from Dayton, Tennessee, right down the road, our host uh, community for our Bass Fest in just uh, two weekends. He's sitting in 12th place right now with 32 pounds and four ounces after two days of competition. He's got a five-fish limit. We're looking for 20 pounds and eight ounces. Boy, David really raised the benchmark, didn't he? Yeah, he did. It was a pretty tough day for me today, so I was surprised everybody caught him as good as they did. 15 pounds and 12 ounces. Hold a couple of those up. You're sitting in fourth place right now from Dayton, Tennessee, with 48 pounds even. Michael Neal looking at a very, very substantial cat. Oh, nice ones. Those other ones in there must have been on the small side, huh? Yeah, they were. I had two between 12 and 13 inches I had to weigh, so that kind of brought me down a little bit. All right, we'll go ahead and put those uh, those two fish in our bass weigh-in bag and ask you to come over here. Tell the folks uh, what kind of baits you were using out there this week. I caught most of my fish this week on a one-ounce swim bait. Uh, it was a lunker hunt swim bunt though and just a shad pattern. Uh, it was real slow. I caught 17 fish all week, so I've culled twice. Uh, just lucky to have what I had. When you're throwing that swim bait out, you know, obviously the, you're always uh, stressed to fish a swim bait slow. But in the water column, what depths were you varying your depths from the top, the surface level, down to, the, to 30, 40 feet? Or was there a certain you were looking for? I caught most of my fish between 23 and 28 feet. Uh, I saw some that were up suspended, some a little deeper than that. I could never get those to bite, but it seemed like if I could find some on the bottom in that depth range, I could usually catch one. All right. Well, great job. 48 pounds even. You're sitting in fourth place right now with 15 pounds, 12 ounces. Come on up. Our next angler is from Indianapolis, Indiana. Rowing on up here. You might have seen him before. His name is Jacob Wheeler. He had 15. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, Jacob Wheeler. Yeah, come on up, Jacob, along with Robert Pelletier, Nassau, New York. Robert had 15 pounds and three ounces after two days of competition. He needs just a mere 15 pounds and five ounces today to take the lead. He's got to have three five pounders or better to take the lead. <sighs> you got room in the driveway, do you? I do. You got a boat at home? I do. All right. You, would you take a new boat? I will. <laughs> okay. Robert Peltier coming on up here. Three fish limit. You need 15-5 to take the lead. Not going to be enough to do that, but we're going to move you way, way up the leaderboard. I think so. It was a good day today. First off, I'd like to say hello to my wife, who's probably home watching on the computer, my mom, too. Today's weight for you, 7 pounds, 11 ounces, 7-11. Going to move you up into third place. Hold one of those up so we can get your photo on Bassmaster.com and all of our bass paparazzi out here. Look at this, man. 
Yeah. Oh, hey, John out front and center. Boom, he says. John was out here early, Robert. He offered to even help us out if we needed any help. He is a good young man, and you taught him well. You not only taught him how to catch fish, but you showed him a little bit of something this week, didn't you? Well, he showed me. He helps me out. I want to thank Sam George, my first day partner, because I bought a flutter spoon Tuesday. I never even used one ever before, and he showed me how to use it. That got me what I made on day one. Uh, Mohawk Martin got me a limit yesterday. Oh, Mohawk from up there in Canada, huh? He had a bad day, but he got me a limit. And today, Jacob Wheeler took me to the brush so that I'd get my limit. And that fish I held up coming off the boat, seven minutes left, we pulled up on the bridge. And I flipped in, and he's like a speed demon. He runs back and forth when he wants to leave. So he's just about blowing off the deck to go, let's go to the next spot. Seven minutes left to go. So I started to go to reel up the jig, and there it was, that three-and-a-half pounder to put me up higher than I've been. All right. Well, great stuff, great story. 22 pounds and 14 ounces. To discuss. Two years ago when I made the stage down in uh, Virginia, yeah. I skunked to come up here. And you said I'd have to go back to building duck calls. Yeah, it was, I was giving him a hard time. I told him to go build some duck calls. You get it, folks? Yeah. And I built you a duck call. You absolutely do. It's actually hanging from my mirror right now as we speak. I want to know, did you ever call a duck in with it? I'll tell you. Either I'm going to tell you one of two things. Either I'm the worst duck caller or you don't make a very good duck call. And guess what? I've killed a lot of ducks in my life. But I made a better fisherman today. You absolutely did. Great job. Thank you, Robert. Seven pounds, 11 ounces today. Sitting in third place right now. Come on up, Jacob Wheeler. Coming to the stage. There we go, Jacob with a nice fish. Had an opportunity to uh, have breakfast with uh, Jacob's family at Owen's Restaurant. Anyone been to Owen's and Dandridge? That's a great place there, isn't it? We've been there every morning this week just about. We like, uh, is it Tinsley Bible too? Down there, downtown, they got some good grub. We see, we figured out the bass staff always figures out where the best eateries are in town. Ran into the family there, Jacob, as I was saying, and they said it's either going to be feast or famine today. You do have a limit of bass. We're looking for 18 pounds, eight ounces. You got it? Not today, I don't think so. Today's weight: 12 pounds, 15 ounces. Going to have you in sixth place. I believe that's about where you started, right? That is where I started. Well, that's funny, huh? <laughs> it is. Hold a couple up, and then we're going to talk. 47 pounds and 3 ounces for Jacob Wheeler from Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. 47 pounds, 3 ounces. Based upon the practice you had this week, you happy with this finish and this weight? You know, we started with 188 pro anglers. You're sitting right now in sixth place. Without a doubt. I mean, you know, one thing, you know, it's always good to make that top 12 cut. I mean, whenever you make that last day cut and be out here, uh, you know, fishing the last day, it's awesome. You know, and going into this event, um, you know, I was, I was fishing somewhat conservatively, and I didn't know how this tournament was going to end up, you know. And I figured, you know, if I could get a top 30, um, you know, in this event, just keep my points up and do pretty well, you know, I was, I was going to be pretty happy with it. But, you know, today worked out. You know, I didn't catch a lot of fish, um, but I did catch one key fish today, that four-pounder, that really helped me with a little bit of weight. And, um, you know, I really was junk fishing a lot this week. All right, what kind of baits are you throwing around? Yeah, I mean, I junk fishing I've, a lot of baits, but let, run through about three or four of them. Well, you know, really the key bait this week, um, with the, so much pressure out there on those schools of bass, um, I was throwing this Trigger X. Look at that. You had one right in your pocket. I set you up, didn't I? You did. You did. A Trigger X Pro Worm. You know, a five and a half inch Pro Worm on a drop shot. So I was actually visually seeing the fish before I actually would catch them. So that was really important. Throwing 10 pound Suffix 832 braid with a six pound leader. A six pound four carbon, guys. You know, I broke one off, you know, and that, it, it definitely hurt, but it was a four and a half pounder. But I got a lot more bites on that, that smaller diameter line uh, and being able to just see those fish down there that wouldn't bite anything else, wouldn't bite a big crankbait, wouldn't bite, you know, a big worm. You throw that little Trigger X, uh, Trigger X probe worm and, and catch them in that cheap shot color. All right, I bet you the folks could run right into Bass Pro Shops and get some of those. Sure, somebody somebody has to definitely. I mean, they're they're great they're great products and uh, have to try them out for sure. Real quick here, my little sister Caitlin, my dad came down um, last night when they knew I made the top twelve, and that's just unbelievable to have. That's the amount of support. Also, my girlfriend Danielle out there, uh, she's watching. A few other people are watching. You know, it, it's really just 
a huge deal to have that support back you um, out here, you know, going on the road and, and being on the road for almost a month now. You know, having those people like them um, really makes it a huge deal. And, and last but not least, I mean, of course, um, you know, I want to thank the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the opportunity to be out here and doing what I love to do. Great stuff. Thank you, Jacob. And good luck next week. I know you got another tournament right around the corner. Good luck up there. All right, come on up. Our next angler coming out of California, Brent Ayler, riding alongside Travis D. Hart from Greenville, South Carolina, site of our 2015 Bassmaster Classic on Lake Hartwell. Travis, we talked about it last night. Grab that Toyota bonus bucks money on the co-angler side, a $300 award. The only co-angler registered in the top 12 for the bonus bucks. Uh, there'll be someone outside that top 12 that will get the other $150 award. The top two on both the pro division and co-angler division winning bonus bucks contingency money. Travis had 18 pounds and 7 ounces after two days of competition. He needs 12-1 to take the lead. He's got a limit of fish, a good bag of fish. We're going to get him on the scales. Who do we got here, Travis? This is my youngest son, Chase. Uh -huh. I'd like to thank my family for coming in. Uh, the family support is just tremendous in this. Uh, and he's, this is my youngest son, Chase, and he's, uh, he's, he's the future of this sport. You and Chase want to hold a couple of these fish up because you got six pounds, six ounces. You're going to move up into third place, third place in the co-angler division. Going to literally cash a check for thousands of dollars. And all we did was be a bass member and go online and register at Bassmaster.com. He'll drop it, he said. Good job. Good fish care, man. All right. Come talk to me, Travis. So we talked about, man, you won the Toyota money, so you were already a winner going into today. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to say thank you to Toyota for putting this on. And uh, they've got a great a great uh, program that you can become a part of um, for the pros and the co's. Um, I've been very fortunate to be, you know, to be in position to win uh, the Toyota money. Uh, I think this is the sixth time. So, uh so that you've won like a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, I think I've won about eighteen hundred dollars now just on Toyota bonus bucks. So, not only do they provide the best quality autos out there, uh, they'll pay you to fish. Absolutely, great stuff. Twenty-four pounds and thirteen ounces. Twenty-four, thirteen. Going to have you settle in third place for right now. All right, come on up, Brent Ayler. No stranger to big time bass fishing tournaments. Comes all the way. From California to compete out here on the East Coast and South uh, Central United States. He'll join us, I believe, up in New York and uh, Detroit. I mean, this guy is a, a traveler all across this great country. I think you fish probably in just about every state here in America. You had 20, 34 pounds and 9 ounces after two days of competition. You're sitting in 12th place. You got four fish. Ooh, he's one shy of his limit. Good for fish, though, at 14 pounds and 13 ounces. Going to have Settle in fourth place. Yeah, you know, it was, it was so much fun out here this week. Uh, fishing was, was very good. and uh, Tell us all about it after I, you hold a few of those up for me, okay? We're going to get some photos, and then you're going to tell us how good the fishing was on Lake Douglas in Jefferson County. There we go. So he's getting the quality bites, but he just came out one shy. So tell us how good it was, Brent. Yeah, it was really a lot of fun. You know, a couple of days in practice, um, you know, I could have had well over 20 pounds on several of the days, and I found a bunch of schools, and I ran around and, and looked for stuff. I found all the fish that I caught on my Humbird Electronics, and, you know, I could tell, you know, when I needed to fish, and I could idle over a spot, and I could catch one of my first cast, and had a lot of fun, and then every day of practice, I'd see boats and more boats and more boats on the areas, and the fish kind of freaked out, and they bit the first day. It was really a lot of fun, and then every day got slowly, you know, tougher and tougher. But, uh, you know, today I, uh, you know, I just didn't execute. I, I had a couple more on that I lost. I've been throwing reaction baits. I've been throwing a Yamamoto swim bait and a Lucky Craft deep diving crankbait. All the fish I caught were out in about 25, 30 feet of water. And, uh, you know, I, I'm guessing in a couple days without anybody fishing out there, the fishing is going to be insane out here. It really was a lot of fun. It was my first time here. I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, Dandridge and here, here in Kodak, here the Bass Pro Shop's really been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, fishing the Bass Open, you guys run a great tournament. It's been an absolute blast. All right, great to have you here. Final weight of 48 pounds and 12 ounces. Right now you're sitting in fourth place. Going to make some serious, serious cabbage this week. 
All right, our next pro angler coming on up, Dwayne Wilson from right here in Tennessee. Whoa, Dwayne. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops. All right, oh, throwing out some gear. Make sure you get them bar. We don't want anyone running in the road. He got a chance to fish with Herschel Brady out of Morristown, Tennessee, another local product. We're going to ask Herschel to come on up here. Herschel needs to have a mere 13, I'm sorry, 12, 11 pounds, 13 ounces, 11, 13 to take the lead. He's got to have a big bag because he's only got two fish. He needs to have like two six-pounders in there. No, I don't have two six-pounders. All right, but we'll see if we can't make some money for you. Herschel sitting in ninth place. We're going to add three pounds to his weight. He's going to move all the way up into fifth with 21 pounds, 11 ounces. Tell us about your week. Uh, well, it's been kind of slow for me. I caught him at slow? Yeah. Dude, there's there's 176 co-anglers that went to the house. Well, uh, you know, we used to catch the big fish up in the river, and they didn't turn on until yesterday. And today we went back and they weren't there. So You seem a little disappointed, are you? Maybe a little bit. Okay, well, we'll send you. You can sulk your, go get some Edwin Williams bourbon and uh, console yourself. Come on. <laughs> yeah, hey, thank you. You know what? Come on up here. You want to come up here and uh, stand right here? That would be great. How about you, ma'am? No? Okay. All right. Come on up, Dwayne Wilson. <laughs> Dwayne, of course, sponsored by Bass Pro Shops. Talking with the great uh, team here. Great team here at the Bass Pro Shops in Sevierville. Yeah. That's got to make a guy feel good. We're going to talk to Dwayne momentarily. He's got 34 pounds and 14 ounces. He's sitting in 12th place. He's got a limit of bass. Man, that's got to make you you feel pretty pretty darn good, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. I had a good, uh, had a real tough day today, but, man, this has been an experience of a lifetime. I've, I've loved it. Uh, Get to do this at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, you know, I've got the opportunity to be on the pro staff a couple of years ago, and to get to come up here, and uh, I love these guys to death. It's just uh, they're like family, and uh, do a lot of stuff for the community, and they're just a good bunch of people, and it's just an honor to get to come up here and do this. And you're absolutely right. I mean, we travel all around the country with bass, and we go to a lot of different bass pro shops, and we always get fantastic support. But, uh, you know, it's really noticeable here in the Sevierville, the group. Uh, anything we ask for, uh, they just roll out the red carpet. It's a, it's a fantastic group. Oh, it's just like family. Just uh, some of the best people I've ever been around. Tell, tell us about the baits this week. Of course, you were leading, I believe, after day number one, had a monster day. Uh, yeah, it just kind of dried up. Just a ton of pressure on the structure, you know. I had a had a few places I was catching them, but uh, it was a situation where those places, there was a boat on it continuous. But, you know, I'd pull off. They'd be one pull on. I think the pressure just took hold, you know. Not got any excuses. They just took a beating. And what kind of bait you throwing on that structure? A 6XD and a 10XD and a few on a swim bait. What colors in those crankbaits? Uh, mainly chartreuse sexy shad. We played with some different colors, but primarily chartreuse sexy shad. All right, great stuff. Thank you. 42 pounds and 11 ounces. Good to have you settling into eighth place right now after we added that 713 today. From Goshen, Indiana, let's have our next pro angler roll, roll right on up here. His name is Todd Schmitz. He won on the Bass Pro Shops of Bassmaster Open Series presented by all state before he got a chance to fish with uh madisonville tennessee's paul palmer on the co-angler side todd of course won with us uh, in detroit michigan a few years back he's looking to repeat he had a solid performance here at douglas lake and he can't wait for us to get to our third and final stop up there on lake st Clair and see if he can't repeat again Maybe get inside that top five in points. Of course, our top five pros qualifying for the Bassmaster Elite Series in 2015 based upon the final points after a final event right there in Detroit, Michigan. Paul fishing on the co-angler side. He's got a couple of fish. Yeah, we struggled today. Uh, burnt through some fish earlier in the week, and uh, we pretty much tried to just junk fish today, and it didn't work for us. Today's weight for you, 2 pounds and 10 ounces, 210, going to have you settle into 10th place. Yeah, that's okay. I have really had a great time this week. 
I appreciate everybody coming out. I'd like to say hi to my family and uh, I'd like to thank all my sponsors. If it couldn't be for them, I wouldn't be here. Uh, Kisselcraft Rods and Power Pole, Alumalite, Bennett's Boat Repair, um, all them products and all the service they do for us. You just can't beat them. And once again, thank you guys for putting this event on. And thank you all, you and all the anglers, for making it such a great event. 18 pounds and 9 ounces for you, Paul. Come on up, Todd Schmitz from Goshen, Indiana. He's got 17, I'm sorry, he's got 35 pounds and 3 ounces. He needs 17 pounds and 9 ounces to take over the lead. How we doing over here, David? I think I'm glued to this seat. You're liking it, though, aren't you? This is the easiest seat to make money in right here. I believe I've been in this position before, though. I believe you have as well. We're going to go ahead and get Todd on the scales here. He's got four fish. He's sitting in 12th place. He's one shy of his limit, seven pounds and 10 ounces. He's got a good one to hold up in there. Yeah. Let's hold one up and get some photos for Bassmaster.com. Todd's going to settle in right now at eighth place. Came from Indiana to fish on beautiful Douglas Lake. Get his season started. As I mentioned earlier, we'll move up into northeastern New York and Lake Champlain and then get right there into your wheelhouse on uh, the Detroit R River and Lake St. Clair. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, uh, I was a little worried about this tournament uh, when the schedule came out and uh, had a great week. Uh, really enjoyed it down here, enjoyed the lake, and uh, had just had a good week. I, I want to thank my wife for letting me do this. Um, you know, she puts up with a lot when I'm gone, so I appreciate that. And I want to thank Solar Bats and also Denali Rods. And uh, I can't wait till we start go smallmouth fishing. All right, we look forward to it as well. 42 pounds, 13 ounces, 42, 13. He's sitting in eighth place right now. All right, we got number two going out today. His name is Ricky Shepard. He's running around in that great Skeeter Yamaha boat. All over Douglas Lake yet. Great day on both day number one and two. He got a chance to go out with Jonathan Hankins from Virginia. Jonathan, 16 pounds and two ounces after two days of competition. Currently sitting in 11th place. He's going to need some big, big weight. Big weight. How about like 14 pounds, six ounces worth of weight? He'd have to catch the three biggest bass in Douglas Lake, I think, to get that. Well, at least one of them. Well, I don't have quite that much, but I just want to say what an awesome crowd. I'd like to say hi to my wife and everybody back home in Tazewell. Um, I've been so blessed this week. It's an awesome fishery. All right, so you're fishing as a co-angler. You know, we talk about it sometimes here on the Bass Stage. Uh, hopefully uh, folks watching on BassMaster.com will, will listen to this advice. Uh, what, what's one uh, recommendation you can make to anglers potentially looking to go, go out there and fish as a co-angler in, in a big event like this? Not necessarily the Bassmaster Opens, but any pro-am three-day event. I try to learn something from every partner. And if you want to learn fishing, this is the way to go. I mean, they can teach you a lot if you just sit back and watch. All right, great stuff. Thank you. 21 pounds and four ounces sitting in seventh place right now, Jonathan. All right, come on up. He was in the number two spot. His name is Ricky Shepard. He's from Tennessee. 35 pounds and 14 ounces. This is one you got to worry about a little bit, I think, David. Yeah, is, the heavy hitters are coming in now. All right, he needs to have... 16 pounds and 14 ounces to take over the lead. He's got a limit of fish. And if you were watching online today or watching on, uh, hopefully you've downloaded, and if you don't know this, you need to download the new Bassmaster News app. All you got to do is go to the iPhone uh, iStore and get that. It's a free app, and you can watch uh, this tournament unfold from on the water right there on your cellular, cellular device. You need to have 16 pounds, 14 ounces. You got it? No, I don't have it today. Not quite going to be enough at 11 pounds and 6 ounces. 11, 6. Hold one of those up for me. Looks like your hands are full on the other side. Who's that? That's my granddaughter. That's one of my best catches there. All right. Well said. There we go. Yeah. Tell us about your week. You started the day in second place, and, and right now you're sitting in seventh. A bit of a struggle today, but uh, a great week for you. Yeah, it's it's been a good week. I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, 
I started out uh, practicing down the lake, and it got really crowded, so I went, ended up going in the river and just staying up there cranking a XD-10 all, all week, you know, and had really good practice, but I made it to go just to, to catch everything I'd catch just to get here today, and I figured I'd run a little bit slow on the last day, but, but it's okay. It worked out. Uh, Sitting right now inside the top ten in seventh place, going to get yourself a nice paycheck as well. Yes, hey, I like to, I like to thank my sponsors, uh, Marstown Marine, Sam Phillips, and Dolores over there at Marstown Marine. They need to check them out. So they're, they're selling boats over there. That Skeeter Yamaha package is great. I've run that thing up down the lake all week. I, I probably put 20 hours of run time on that thing in practice and tournament. So I need to check them out, uh, MarstownMarine.com. All right, great stuff. 47 pounds and 4 ounces, 47.4. All right. All right. Come on up. You've been waiting for them all afternoon. A lot of folks rolled out here at like 1 and 2 o'clock this afternoon. Folks, if you're standing by that boat, I need you to get to move because we need to get Ot Defoe on up here. Got a chance to fish alongside Doug Fowler. From Conover, North Carolina. Daniel Beebe sitting here patiently. How you doing, Daniel? Doing great. We're going to finish this thing up. All right. Where's Lisa? Lisa Sturdivant, where are you? you or <laughs> Lisa Tomich, thank you. Sorry, Brian. You need to ask Ott to sit in the boat and or leave his fish and come. All right. Come on up, Doug Fowler. All right, Doug. Doug's going to come up here. And then I'm going to have Ott come up. But, Ott, I'm going to ask you to just leave your fish there momentarily when you come up and talk to me, and we'll send you back and get this thing finalized. First, we got some business to do here for Daniel and Doug. Come on up, Doug. Doug has three fish. He has three good fish. He needs to have 14 pounds and 10 ounces, 14, 10. We're going to get Daniel in the middle. Final weight, great job for Doug. Settling in it, 11 pounds and 6 ounces. Hold a cup, hold one up, Doug. That is an awesome day. He made it, moved all the way up into third place. Oh, man, what, what a run. I really think Daniel thought he had it locked up and then, Man, did you see that bat right there? Holy cow. You gave him a little. I thought his heart was going to beat out of his chest as he watched you walk up here. It was a uh, fishing behind Ott today. You wouldn't believe the fun we had. Uh-oh. That don't sound good, David. I had to ask to take a break. Chris, my arm was tired. I couldn't reel no faster. I got tired of taking fish off. And I just kept calling up a little at a time, a little at a time. How many fish you go through today? I'll be honest with you, I didn't didn't count. Guesstimate. Myself, probably ten. How many I go through roughly? Guesstimate. Twenty seven. I saw it on the Bass News app that I just uh just a mere twenty seven bass today. It was a great day. I mean being able to take different techniques and learn a lot from this lake going out from deep it's not something i normally fish and learning from these guys it's an unreal experience excellent job this week 27 pounds four ounces you're going to finish in third place going to get yourself a very very nice paycheck oh man ah defoe coming on up no, we're going to sit tight, sit tight, sit tight, sit tight for a minute. Uh, is that true what I uh, read on the uh, Bassmaster News app that I have on my iPhone that you went, oh, wait, Lisa, correct me, 37 bass you went through today. I was going to say, I think 27 was a little lot. <laughs> so obviously you're around a lot of fish. I mean, we heard we heard your co-angler talking about uh, what a fantastic day you had out there. Tell us a little bit about the week. We don't know how this is going to shake out. You need to have uh, like 20-something pounds to, to win this thing. Well, actually, only 14 pounds and 8 ounces. But uh, we want to know what uh, what kind of baits you were using, and, and tell us a little bit about what the, the keys were. 
it, it was really all about changing, you know, Chris. I mean, the fish I caught the first day, I caught all those fish deep, and I caught them off of a couple of different places, primarily cranking a DT-16 in Korean Shad. I think they may even have some in here in the store. But uh, I, I caught most of those fish on that. I did catch a couple of fish on a Terminator football jig the first day. The second day, I went back to those same places and, and couldn't get bit. Not only could I not catch it. Small fish, I couldn't catch anything. And you told us on the stage, said, man, it was a struggle just to get a limit yesterday. But obviously, uh, listening to the story here, it changed today. It really did. I mean, the, the fish really kind of showed up. And, and I changed again a little bit today and, and fished some different areas and stuff. And, and really, we got in one place, and it was, it, I, I, told, I told my co owner today, I said, man, it was just a really, really special day. We got in one place, and just, I mean, we hammered them. And I know you've been fishing, Douglas, since you were a very, very small boy, I'm guessing. And I know your father's out here in the crowd. And I bet you, you know, how many days do you think you've spent on Lake Douglas with your dad fishing? It's, it's untelling. It really is. And I have to say a big thanks to all my family, my wife, all our, all our children for being here, my mom and dad. They, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just pretty awesome. All right. Well, there's, you've done a lot of work, man. It's hotter than blue blazes out here. I'm going to ask you to walk about 30 yards that way and then 30 yards back with your bag of fish. Can you do that for me? What do you think, folks? You want to see Odd Default? This seems a little familiar, doesn't it? Same thing as last time. Finished second place last time we were here at the Bass Pro Shops of Bassmaster Southern Open, presented by Allstate. And here you are. You were in the hot seat. You had to watch that final angler weigh in. Your destiny is at this point out of your control. That's right. You know, me and Otter are friends. We travel the tour together, and we try to help each other out. And it don't matter where we go, Florida, Arkansas, Texas, there's nothing like East Tennessee and the people here. How many spots did Ott give you for the tournament this week? He didn't give me any, and I didn't give him any. So. <laughs> That's right, because you're the best of friends, but it's still a competition out here. But apparently I needed a couple more, but like I said, you know, we're friends, and, and that's the key. The title's going to stay right here in East Tennessee with it, either me or him. Show us what you got, Ott. You got anything worth showing the folks there? You got a bag of fish. He does have a limit of fish. That is for sure. All right. He's got a bulging bag of fish there. Oh, he's bringing the family up here. They're, the, they're your good luck charms. You need to take them on the Bassmaster Elite Series Tour. All right. Let's get it done, Dave, and watch this thing happen. He needs 14 pounds and 8 ounces, and Ott Defoe has blown the doors off right here. We'll get my good friend Paul Irwin, and I'll thank all our bass volunteers as we let them settle down on the scales. We might have to rewrap that, Paul. It's going to be close. Looking for 14, 8. 24 pounds, 1 ounce. Ott Defoe is your champion on the Bass Pro Shops. Bassmaster Northern Open here from Lake Douglas. Oh, beautiful Dandridge, Tennessee, our final day weigh-in. Oh, man, he's going to make a run at the Carhartt Big Bass right now. Aaron Martins with seven pounds and one ounce, seven one. Look, has the Carhartt Big Bass, and we got to make this official. Looking for seven one, a big fatty there. What did that one eat? Uh, I actually caught that one on a swim bite today. Oh, poor Ott, just six pounds and 13 ounces. I guess you can't win them all. Oh, man, does it get any better than it is to win in your hometown? No, it, it really don't, Chris. It, it, uh, man, I, I've been thinking all day once I got to about 20 pounds what I would say up here, and I, 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 still, hadn't figured out, I still hadn't figured it out. But, uh, man, it, 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 it's awesome to win. The only other big, you know, really big event I've won was down on uh, the Alabama River at the All-Star event down in Montgomery, and I uh, had my family there. But to, to, have, to have all my friends, I mean, I can see so many familiar faces, my, my family, my friends. Uh, here, yeah, it's, it, it, it just really don't get any better. And to be weighing in in front of, front of Bass Pro and Chris Baden, I saw you whenever I walked out here. Yeah, great guy, store general manager here at the Bass Pro Shops in Severeville with no all staff. Okay, well, we got one last piece of business. I'm going to give you one more opportunity, but I'm going to ask you to set this young man down momentarily because I want to welcome to the stage E. Shane Meldon from the Jacobs Agency in Allstate to present you with the Bass Pro Shops, a Bass Master, Northern Open, presented by Allstate Tournament. You want to say a few things, E. Shane? Thank you for everyone that come here and support Allstate. Please come and visit us. All right. Come on one more time. Ah, Defoe.
Go into the 2015 Bassmaster Classic. <sighs> Dude, it, uh, <laughs> it, it just don't get any better than that. It really don't. But what, what I was going to say a minute ago, I, I have to really thank Chris. I have to thank Chris Vaden. He, uh, he was the one who got me hooked up with Bass Pro Shops. He said, you know, man, if we can ever do anything for you, just let us know. And and, and I, I'm, I'm really thankful for him. He, 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 he doesn't know how much he's, he's meant to me, my family, my fishing career. It's being hooked up with Bass Pro Shop, there's no better no better company in the fishing industry, and probably industry any as far as that goes, but definitely in the fishing. Absolutely. We like to think Bass Pro Shops and Bass, two of the leaders, it's a no-brainer partnership. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, they've got the two leaders hooked up together, and it couldn't get any better. All right, one more time for Ot Defo. We're going to ask him to step over here. we got a whole bunch of folks that want to talk to you. Congratulations, my friend. And now... We'll ask you, I bet you how we'll sign some autographs after this thing's uh, all done, and we'll have an awards presentation out here in about 15 minutes. You're welcome to stick around and uh, watch that. In the meantime, we got to thank all of, all of our great supporters and our, our partners. Our partners, are, uh, we got to thank our, of course, Bass Pro Shops, Allstate, Toyota, Berkeley, Evan Williams, Bourbon, Triton Boats, Mercury Outboards, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, Hummingbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, and Nitro Boats. And, of course, all of our great supporting sponsors, Boat U.S., Carhartt, Livingston, Lures, Powerful, Lawrence, Shimano, Dive Mountain Dew, and, of course, the Jefferson County Chamber of Commerce, our local host.